Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here. Mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. If you're new to my channel or if you've been here for a while, thank you so much for spending part of your day here with me. I hope that you are all staying well, staying safe, and staying home. Today I have a favorite for this channel. It is the Huga Box. In case you are not familiar, familiar already with this Danish concept that has taken over the world. Hygge is the idea of coziness, of warmth. It's really that homebody lifestyle that all of us are being forced to live and love these days. So I'm very excited to have this dose of Hygge here. Now I do get the smaller subscription. It is $28 per month and then another $10 in shipping. They do have a deluxe version which includes a few more items, but that's pretty big in the price jump up. It's $39.95 per month plus then the $10 in shipping so to stay with my budget which is between 30 and 40 dollars per month for any subscription whether it's monthly bi-monthly or seasonal I have to stick with the standard edition but it's usually got some fantastic items it is a total mystery box they don't do any spoilers so this time we're just gonna have to see what we get now if you are interested to see what the deluxe box had I know that hope over at unboxy boxes she usually gets the deluxe version so you can check that video out if you haven't already and let's open it up. I'm very excited to get into it. Inside, it's always just got a little bit of information about that idea. It says Hugo Box, delivering coziness and happiness. And then on top, that's funny that I was just talking about it. They've got this little homebody sticker. It's got a little sweater and these like very like neutral, happy, warm tones kind of goes with that idea, that concept. And then it looks like well, it looks like I got two. This is an image that they have used before, but this particular version seems to be like a nicer um, card stock. And it just says, life is what you make it. So that is something that is important to remember in these times when we've all been forced to sort of change our lifestyle and routine. But really, life is what you make of it. So take this opportunity to do things that you might not otherwise, to really appreciate all of the small things. And then on the back, they always kind of write up what the different items are in the box as almost a narrative to tell you about the theme. It says that this month the theme is finding joy and magic in the ordinary and they do usually put at the bottom now what the deluxe box includes that ours does not so we'll talk about that when we get there. They do not include the retail values which you know is something that I actually really appreciate in the sort of pricier boxes. This is kind of a mid-range box so I'm sort of okay with it. Then inside we've just got this tissue paper with some like birds and a little hygge sticker. So I'm gonna open it up and see what we've got inside. Now the deluxe version does come in a different looking box um, because they do have to put more items in it. Mine usually comes pretty stuffed to the gills. So I'll show you in here. It's always got this kind of craft paper, um, squigglies, the little foozles to keep everything. So it says, evening daylight return this month with a golden hour added to the clock. Make it a time to appreciate and wonder a little at the everyday magic of ordinary things. The feeling of a warm bath towel, the first sip from a cup of hot tea, the way the light catches the color on the wall, and avocado toast, which if you know me, I don't really like avocados. Sorry, guys. You don't have to sit still to take notice and make small discoveries. Wander, stray from the path, discover the unexpected, experience the new, and take notice in the little things wherever you may be, which is for all of us indoors right now. Let wandering be your guide and go your own way. Of course, you don't have to just wander physically out in the world. We can kind of wander in our minds by reading, by experiencing and learning about new things. There are plenty of reasons to be happy. Why not try it from a cup? Oh, this is telling us probably about some tea that we've gotten here. So I'm gonna wait until we get to it and just kind of go through the box and see if I can talk about the items as we get to them. So the first thing that I'm seeing is from Baked and I think we've gotten something from them before. These are double chocolate chunk cookies. They are vegan, gluten and grain free. So that's pretty cool. So here is the label. Now the Hygge box always includes an element of light as well as an edible indulgence is the way that they phrase it. Here are the little cookies, so I am happy to have those. I just noticed that while I've gone to the grocery store and gotten lots of items to get us through these next few weeks, I did not get myself a lot of chocolate, so I'm very happy to have that. Let's see what it says about this. Baked by Ingrid wants to show us that healthy is delicious and that simple ingredients make the best tasting food. Made with the highest quality and organic ingredients, these double chocolate chunk cookies are soft, chewy, and oh so chocolatey. Sounds good to me. All right, the next thing I am seeing is this pretty 
wood uh, bookmark and it just says time to hygge and then on the back it says stay cozy with like these little books and then at the bottom it's actually branded with hygge box so it looks like they had this custom made for the box it is nice and thin so it will go into one of those books that I am finally having a chance to read so let's see what it says whether you want your apartment to look like it belongs oops can't get to that part yet Maybe I will wait. It says it's always a good time to hygge, so be sure to use this cozy wooden bookmark and never lose your place if you get caught up in another hygge-dig activity. Now go and discover your inner Scandi if you haven't already, so since it's from Scandinavia, I guess. All right, so it looks like the next thing that I am feeling and finding is our little element of light. So it's got that same image as the sticker that I showed you before. It says home body and it says take a deep breath, you're home, which is nice. I always take a deep breath when I get home, but lately I've been home all the time. Let's see what it smells like. It's a little perfumey. It smells kind of floral to me. And then of course it's always like the power of suggestion once I read it I'll be like oh yeah that's totally what I smell so let's let's get a little bit of that going it says when you need to let go of negative thoughts and create positive energy light the home body candle it has a clean herbal and woody scent from a combination of lavender and white sage white sage is used in traditional cleansing rituals to drive away negative energy bad dreams negative influences and sicknesses burn for good vibes so we could all use some good vibes it's very interesting to me a lot of subscription boxes are sort of giving us things to like cleanse but i guess that's part of like seasonal seasonal subscriptions being ready for spring so i do smell I smell that like clean herbal woody scent. I'm not smelling a ton of the lavender and I'm not really honestly sure what white sage smells like so maybe that's what I'm smelling. But always love candles. These days I pretty much have one burning all the time in my house just to give a little ambiance and a nice little bit of aromatherapy. So happy to add that to the candle drawer which is very full right now. The next thing I am seeing is a magical reset button and then it says oh thank goodness they gave us the translation it says press the button and you will move on in your life well that's a powerful button let's see what it looks like and what it says about it it says pit is an interjection that Danes utter when faced with a frustrating situation that's out of their control, like train delays, the weather, or the grocery store being sold out of the one thing you went for. For example, I just went for eggs and there were no eggs and I was very happy to find bread and all of those other items that are supposedly we have shortages of. There was even toilet paper, although I have plenty so we didn't get any more, but there were no eggs and I really wanted to have some like nice breakfasts at home to kind of create that good feeling. So I have to wait until the next the next adventure to the grocery store because as you know going to the grocery store right now is an adventure. So inside, so <laughs> this just reminds me of what are those commercials where it says like try easy and it's like the easy button that you click. Like literally that's what it is and it says pit uh, and then pit nappen. I don't know what the nappen means but uh, it looks like it needs batteries on the bottom and then you actually just press the button and then I think it actually says different things. This is what I'm, what I'm guessing. This is like just a kind of novelty item. I wonder if it says things in Danish because that won't be any good. So it does. It says there's a little pamphlet inside and it says Pit is a popular word in Denmark. While not having a direct English translation, it evokes the idea of don't worry, stuff happens, or forget about it. It is the art of letting go out of our letting go of things out of our control and helps us refocus our energy in the present moment. It's a cultural concept to deal with stress, cultivate healthy thoughts, and not waste unnecessary energy on thinking more about it. At its core, it's about accepting and resetting. So that is nice. I definitely think we could all use a little reset right now. In Denmark, teachers use pit buttons to teach students to let go. They actually have a typo and they spelled it P-T-Y instead of P-Y-T there. It can help cope with small frustrations and serve as a reminder that everything can't be perfect. So I guess it's like a stress ball almost, like you hit the button and then it's going to say something like pit, which means never mind, or don't worry about that, or it just says pit, 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 or it'll all be, be okay, breathe deeply. So 
kind of cool. I don't know how effective it's going to be for me when it's telling me to do things in Danish and I don't understand Danish. It like actually might create a little bit more anxiety and honestly like having a big red button on my desk already is making me feel a little anxious and I just don't know. I feel like this is kind of uh, off brand. I get the idea, the concept of Pit is definitely within the Hygge idea, but like just like the the styling of this, the execution of it, it's just this like plastic like tchotchke novelty item that I feel like you'd get like at Spencer's or Hot Topic or something. Do those do those stores still exist? I don't know. Um, so for me, this is like not a win. This is probably one of the first times that I've been a little bit disappointed by an item in the Hygge box. Partially because it's in Danish and partially because I think it looks a little like cheap, but hopefully we're going to be redeemed with the rest of the items here in the box. So let me know what you guys think. If any of you would like to have a put button, I will maybe include it in the next giveaway. If you're the winner, you just remind me and I will get it out to you. All right. So the next item is what I was talking about earlier. I started reading too soon and it is the Vana Tisanes tea it says bringing you hand blended herbal leaves roots flowers and berries for your natural abilities in happy is the scent i think or the the flavor and it says that it's lovingly made in cambria california so it is this nice resealable tea pack and it looks like it's nice nice loose leaf tea which that's very popular i do appreciate a good old tea bag but um maybe they like gave us a tea infuser i mean you can only have so many of those as well but some of them work better than others let's see what it says about the tea it says there are plenty of reasons to be happy why not try it from a cup vana tisana's happy blend contains herbs that are known to have sedative healing effects and that promote anti-anxiety and antidepressant properties in the body. The herbs in Happy help with emotional stability, allow for better rest, and instills a sense of well-being. Enjoy a cup of happy and smile. So it sounds like um, a little therapy in the version of tea, so I'm not sure what it's actually going to taste like. Let's see, it just says herbal leaves, roots, flowers, and berries, but it doesn't necessarily tell me, it, I mean, it does show you a whole bunch of different of different herbs and scents, but it, I feel like it might almost taste a little like medicinal, but you know, if it makes me happy, I guess that's worth it. If I have it with the chocolate cookies, it'll probably make me happy. So I'll, I'll report back if I try this tea out in the, in the near future. So it looks like we only have one more item. And this is a good opportunity while I'm getting all of the foozles off of it to tell you that the deluxe box also included like a a little like makeup bag it sounds like a, like a little pouch and I think I would have liked that it would be a nice useful functional item and then it also included an edible candle which I think I'm okay with not getting an edible candle but I would certainly have liked to see what that little pouch was like and if it meant switching out my put button for a nice usable cosmetic bag I definitely would have preferred that but all right, so the last item that we are seeing is a book, and I have not actually gotten a book yet from Hygge Box, although I know that they do include them sometimes. It's pretty cute. It's got like that same sweater image on it. Let's see what it says about the book. Whether you want your apartment to look like it belongs in Copenhagen, work out like a Norwegian, or make cinnamon buns like a Swede, the little book of Scandi Living is the perfect introduction to the world's happiest countries. This pocket version of North is full of inspiration and ideas, how-tos, and recipes to help you experience the very best of Scandinavian design, philosophy, cookery, and culture. So that's what the bookmark is probably for. It is a nice hardcover book. And it says that it's normally $15.99 in the U.S., so you're getting some value there. And it looks like it says it's a brief, witty, and honest guide to the countries of the North full of inspiration and ideas. So I actually have loved all of my visits to Scandinavia. I think Copenhagen is a beautiful, beautiful city that I love spending time in. I was a little nervous when I first went there because I thought I would not like the food, um, but I actually went on a couple of food tours and the food there is fantastic. And just the lifestyle and the attitude that people have. This is a nice book though, you guys. It's got like these nice color pages with pictures. So so I'm excited to read this. I think it's kind of interesting, especially now that we're all sort of stuck at home to have a little bit of a cultural education. So pretty, pretty cool. I'm excited to read this. Um, now I don't really like usually getting books as part of my lifestyle subscription boxes, but it's something that I can read and then also pass on to someone else. So like I said, 
This is probably not my favorite box that I've gotten from Hugo Box. I still like it. I think it's well curated. I think I'm getting my value, especially considering I only pay 28 plus the shipping. But like the puke button is a, not a win for me. There's not much to the edible indulgence this month. Sometimes we get a little bit more. I know we got the tea as well as the cookies, but I'd like more cookies. <laughs> um, and then that's pretty much it though. We got the tea, the cookies, the plastic button, the nice book, the nice hardcover book, and a little um, branded bookmark to go with it. And then finally, a little like kind of big version of a tea light. So not the best, not the best, but still very nice. Still a fantastic treat. And I am still looking forward to my next Hugo box. Let me know what your favorite item is. Let me know what you guys think about the put button. Um, what would you have that button say as a reset? Uh, that would be a great thing for you to leave in the comments below. Maybe we can all benefit from that. Hopefully I'll see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing. Until then, have a fantastic day.